In 2021, I became a head coach at the Football Fun Factory. I was able to combine my passion for football and my love of business to create a business that impacts my local community. Before joining the FFF, I was working for a bank. While it was great, it wasn't my passion. Now I own my own football coaching business right on my doorstep. I get to walk my children to school and have an incredible work-life balance. This is my local community and we're making so much football fun here. Whether it's at our TOTS football fun session or our football fun and development session, we're putting so many smiles on faces. This is the story of the football fun factory in Southend, Rayleigh and Hockley. You, you were the first coach I had. Have a brilliant day, have you? Got loads of stuff today. Played my first football match here. Children are loving it, experiencing more time seeing them grow up. It's one of our busiest sessions. We're going to be um, taking a trip around my local community. We're going to be, first of all, kicking off with some Tots football fun. We're then going to do a bit of a tour all the way around, so I'm going to show you the sites. And then this evening we've got football fun and development at Clements Hall. Our mornings are crazy, so there's always something going on. Look, they're already chasing each other around, kicking the ball around, trying to get ready, but they've done well today. They're all ready for school. It's all right, so we're going to go on the scooters this morning. No shirt, pull in. Didn't used to get mornings like this where actually get the opportunity to walk the boys to school and uh, actually see those parts of it, like early mornings and, uh, yeah, experiencing more time seeing them grow up. Five minute walk to the school and the leisure centre is exactly the opposite. So, um, yeah, we can drop the children off at school and then we can go and get set up for tops. So we've got the uh, leisure centre over there, which is where we hold all of our Rayleigh sessions. And then the great thing is, children go to school just across the road. So um, we get quite a few children that come to the school, they come along to our sessions, which is fantastic. And we do quite a lot of stuff in the school as well. So we go in and do regular sort of fun days and charity things um, just to help them raise some money. Have a brilliant day, love you. Yes, I Yep, I think you already are. <laughs> right, have a good day, guys. Right, so we're pretty loaded up as well, so we've got loads of stuff today. Right, so over here is where I have my football fun development sessions. So we have about 80 children on a Friday night. We've got both pitches which are completely full. Really, really busy sessions, and uh, here we do one four till five, another one five till six. So this morning we're doing a Gruffalo theme. Not only are we just delivering the session, we're trying to make it engaging for the children, trying to bring stories to life, but also um, make the football fun at the same time. We should have around 30 children come into the two sessions this morning, and pretty much we're fully booked every week. Morning, you're right. How are you doing, guys? How about how are you? What ball have you got there? Can you have a look. Oh, Paw Patrol, wow, look at that. Do you like the Gruffalo? Is the Gruffalo scary? Nah, he's not, is he? Very excited, yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Head, shoulders. Head. Everyone point to the goal, but we are going to try and score in over there. Oh, Alright, who wants to stamp? Do you want to stamp? Yeah. Got another one as well. You've done really well today. Okay, so we've got two groups. The first group you saw was an older group. So they pretty much get in and do most of it themselves. Maybe with a little bit of parental help. This one, you can see that they're a lot younger. So they're sort of 18 months to three years old. So we really encourage the parents or grandparents to come in, get involved and have fun with the children. We're about three and a half years into our journey. He's just changed so much as a little boy since. Brought Maeve into it as well. Maeve loves football because of Josh and because of how great Rich and Sarah have been. Rich and Sarah have just had an understanding of who Joshua was and just accepted that and just allowed him the freedom to be himself. And now he's just a completely different little boy when he comes here. It's, yeah, it's just opened him up, hasn't it? He's become Richard amazing. Richard and Sarah at Football Fun Factory have been amazing with him. They've given him time, they've given him patience, patience just yeah. to go at his own pace to develop and come through and he's he's support him. Support it's, it's been really is. really positive and really nice him. to see really really nice Maeve, well Maeve was only a baby when she first came but as she's kind of grown with it once she could get in that football inside the pitch wasn't she 18 months old yeah. she was in 
absolutely loving it. Yeah, enjoyed it so much. New coaches new as well. Were amazing. Just, um, they've yeah, been really positive with him. Really great with him, weren't they? Yeah. And yeah, I think the outdoors bit as well, he likes as well, doesn't yeah, he? So he's been outside on the big boy yeah, beach as well. Yeah, he feels like that. a big footballer now. Yeah, he feels like a yeah, big boy. It's, we've tried uh, on our, we'd, we'd been to other places and we just felt. This is this football fun fact. It's just, it's, it had a different. It's very relaxed. It's very. It, personal, yeah. it feels yeah, very, really good word, yeah. um, very welcoming as very well. Cool, so I definitely, personal, definitely yeah. recommend it. You see, children are loving it. Um, they're all engaged, they're all energised, and most importantly, they're all having fun. Super helpful. There we go. Good boy, do you want a sticker? So I'll see you next week. See you later. See you next week. All wrapped. Well, not quite. We've got to do the pitch. So uh, we're going to see how quickly we can tidy everything up. Fans packed and done. So after a fantastic two Tots Football Fun sessions, really enjoyed it this morning. I think that the children got loads out of it. There was loads of variety, mixed things up, and um, they all went away with smiling, happy faces, which is the main thing. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes just walk, walk back here from after delivering the Tots sessions because it's so loud and noisy in there, it's nice to get a bit of peace and quiet. Obviously after the session, um, what I always do is I post about the sessions across um, Facebook, Instagram, um, and our other social media accounts. Um, we've also got a community Facebook group for the parents whose children attend our sessions. So we always put sort of more photos on there, sometimes sort of up to 20, 30, 40 photos of a session. Um, that one we find really good because the parents that maybe don't attend the session, so if the mum or the dad are at work, um, then they can see what their little ones have been up to as well. Yeah, so at the, at the top sessions, I get Sarah to help with some of the photos from time to time as well, because I think that just allows me to get on with the coaching. Um, and at the same time, she can capture the magical moments for the children. This is the, uh, the Football Fun Factory storeroom, um, where I've got loads of inflatables now. They're all kept in there, but it's supposed to, but it's supposed to be like an office come playroom, but it's just a store cupboard at the moment. Just going to spend sort of a few minutes just to, to catching up with some scouting. Got a few emails, messages and players that have been sent over from agents just to have a look at. Um, it's a busy time of the season. A guy at the Rayleigh Leisure Centre who was playing badminton with his wife. Um, and he asked me about the Football Fun Factory and he just sent me over an email to book his son in for a free trial this coming Friday. So I just replied to him um, before we head out the door and up to Rayleigh High Street. Okay, so we're in Rayleigh, which is the heart of the community. Um, you can see this is Rayleigh High Street um, and we've got all of our sessions which are local to here. So we run our football fun camps just down the road at Swain Park School and we run our tops football fun and our football fun and development sessions at the Rainy Leisure, which is about five minutes away. So when I was a regional manager at Nat West, I used to cover all of the branches in London and the South East, and that was one of them. Right, so we're gonna to go to the um, other part of my regional community, which is in Hockley. Right, so we're now in Hockley Woods, another area that's really local to me. Bring the children over here at the weekend. It's a fantastic area, We've got a really nice park area, but also um, expansive woods that um, goes on for miles. But I played my first football match here when I was about six years old, um, which just over here, it's not football pitches anymore. Um, it's a park area. I remember, I remember it quite a lot, really. So it was actually playing for the Cubs. Um, at that age, when you were younger, sort of six or seven, they didn't really have football teams that you could actually join. It was either your school or your Cubs, um, play for both of those. But um, yeah, I was playing for my Cubs and it was a big, big football pitch with full-size goals. I think it was 11 a side, can't quite remember. Um, the one thing I remember vividly was one of the um, opposing parents just shouting that he's offside. I was a left winger and um, kept getting shouted by the other parent that I was offside all the time and didn't have a clue what it meant. You, you were the first coach I had. So I'm now with the Football Fun Factory. Where's so, the Fun Factory? Um, it's all over the place. So I do, originally did Rayleigh and Hockley, but I'm just covering South End, um, West Cliff, um, all around there, yeah. That's great. Yeah. And you, you're still about doing football? Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's great, isn't it? Yeah, so it's brilliant, isn't it? you off on the right yeah. track then. You, you were the first coach I had to, on a Sunday, didn't you? That's it. Up at Canoodon. Yeah, because I was, yeah. I think I was I'd finished or was I still playing? I'm um, not sure. I'm not sure what it was. Yeah. Like. Yeah, uh, I, I think I'd finished it. Yeah, I was a youth team coach here or something. Yeah, I reckon so. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have something off, mate. yeah. brilliant. Do you live in Canoodon still? No, I live in Rayleigh. Yeah. Do you live in Canoodon? Yeah, I lived in Canoodon. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, been been about, but yeah, still in football, which is good. Oh, that's great, isn't it? So yeah. How about that?
first coach. Should we get, can we get a photo, Frank? We're at Southend United. This is somewhere where I've been to hundreds of times over the years, really. So it was my first game that I ever went to. I then remember when I was a youngster, I was a mascot as well. Been back lots of times over the years. And it's just got fantastic memories of, as a little child, running around on the pitch. I think in those days, they just let, used to sit somewhere up there. Um, you used to be able to run down and you used to be able to get autographs pitch side of the players. Really remember that. The good times, I think Southend have struggled lately, but they, um, they've had some really good promotions and really good runs over the years. And yeah, it's just, I think it's a fantastic family club. We get a lot of children that come to our sessions, but um, their parents say, oh, they've been to their first match, they've been to Southend United, and being part of a local community, I think it's really good and would obviously um, really encourage the children to come along. If they want to come along to their first football match, um, this is a great place you get. Great views from wherever you are, you're close to the pitch and it's normally quite noisy and a decent atmosphere. So this is where I watched my first football match. Um, don't think the seats have changed very much since then, um, but yeah, brilliant location. Um, kind of remember it vividly really, um, coming to football here when I was a child, um, cheering on South End and yeah, some fantastic memories. Right, so we're down at Southend Seafront. You can see Southend Pier, the longest pier in the world, apparently. So yeah, really excited to be bringing the Football Fun Factory to the Southend area. Um, it's such a massive community. Um, we've already launched sessions, Garren Park, Westcliff, and also more recently at Shoebury Ness. So there's, there's a lot of opportunity for a lot of children to come and play football for the first time. For me, it's my local community. It's 15 minutes from where I live. And yeah, really excited to see what happens over the next few coming weeks and months. We're going to go to Shubri Ness Leisure Centre, which is the venue for my new Tots Football Fun session. Yeah, so this, this is a brand new venue. We've got two Tots Football Fun sessions, and yeah, we launched it. It was really, really successful. We had over 20 children come along for a three week free trial. Another fantastic part of the community. It's about just over five minutes from South End. It connects a lot of different communities, and um, yeah, really excited to see how it works out. Garren Park 3G. Um, this is where we have our football fun and development sessions on a Thursday evening, four till five o'clock. Um, we've got a quarter of this pitch that we use. Um, and yeah, it's been really exciting. We, we kicked off about five weeks ago now. Um, we're starting to get busy, seeing more children come along, experience the Football Fun Factory for the first time. All right, so this is where we have our Tots Football Fun at Clements Hall. We run two sessions on a Friday morning, and yeah, again, it's a um, good sized venue, nice hall. We normally do it on those two courts there, so the curtains come around and uh, the children are running around inside the inflatable pitch. Right, so we're on the roof here um, at Clements Hall Leisure Centre. You can see over in the background there, we've got our um, full pitch where in about half an hour's time we'll be welcoming about 40 children to our football fund and development session. I've got Dan with me here. Dan's the manager of the Leisure Centre and we've been working together for about the last three years now, haven't we? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. So um, Richard's been here. Um, really supportive of the Leisure Centre. We do get a lot of football come through the building purely through uh, Richard's Football Fun Factory sessions. I think just the, the benefit of having the kids here um, learning obviously the basic skills of football as well uh, and then obviously seeing the rest of the centre is, is only benefit to not only us but the community as well. So we're at Clements Hall, um, it's one of our busiest sessions. We've got around 40 children that come on a Tuesday night. We've got arrival matches, children, as they arrive, they can get straight into matches. We've got four pitches, we've got an older group over here, and then we've got sort of a middle group around sort of age sevens and eights, and then we've got two younger groups all playing mini matches and getting going as soon as they arrive. So the session's absolutely buzzing tonight. We are really busy. Children are really energetic. We're going to go and talk to a few of them now. What do you like about the Football Fun Factory? I like how I, I spend time with my friends. I love that it improves your skills and if you don't have anywhere to practice, practice here on Tuesday nights. What 
What do you like about the Football Fun Factory? Um, it's like good. You play a lot of matches and at the end you get a blue card. Yeah, so you come to this session tonight. You now come to South End on a Thursday, don't you? You go to my Football Fun Camps as well? Yeah. Yeah, what do you like about the camps? Um, it's like the inflatables, they're good. Jim's been with us since we started, haven't you? He's been coming for the last three years. What do you like about the Football Fun Factory, Jim? I like where we, like, when we kick the ball and sometimes we, when it comes, yeah. you can try like that to hit the ball. Oh, right, using different parts of your feet. Yeah. Brilliant, good stuff. And how you gone tonight? Good. Good stuff, good boy, good high five. So I've got two kids um, here at the minute. One of them started about three years ago. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, I can't, uh, I can't knock it at all. You know, the guys are great. The, the way they structure it is fantastic. It gets them really involved. And they love the blue cards at the end as well. Um, they always want to try and get a blue card, so they're trying their best for that. Richard is so so good with the kids. I don't know how he does it. He's so patient with the kids. His his confidence in himself has, has improved with the, like the team spirit of the game. His skills are developing absolutely brilliant as well. What do you like about the football fun factory, Elise? Well, I like that it's got like lots of kind friends and like those people like support you as you like move on to be a better foot. It's the end of the day, it's been a really busy one. Uh, we're on our way home now. Hey, how you doing? You had a good day? Yeah. Brilliant, give us a big hug to see you. How was school? Good. Good. Brilliant day, it's really successful. Um, been really busy. Gonna have a little sit down, put some stuff on social media and uh, yeah, have a, have a good evening hopefully.